first guest is a Hallmark Christmas movie favorite and superstar for that matter. And today he is here with his beautiful wife, Cassandra, and they are making their family's favorite holiday dish, which is sweet potato casserole with a maple crumble. Please welcome to our home for the gazillionth time, because we love <laughs> it so much, Andrew Walker and his beautiful wife, Cassandra. Thanks, Thank you. Thank you. Thanks for having us. So good to so see you. Much. You have finally made yes. it here. Yes, Thank goodness. Finally. I've invited you a million times. Oh, no, she you. just never, you know, today she finally... Took the invite. Well, you were in the kitchen this time. I so know. Uh, I actually need, I need her. Well, <laughs> she's, she's <laughs> you're in the kitchen it's... making her recipe. Kinda. Yeah, ex exactly. Yeah. exactly. So I know, Cassandra, this is one of your favorite family recipes for the it holidays, is. isn't it? It is. It's something that we are known for taking traditional recipes, putting a healthy spin on them. So this is exactly nice. that sweet potato, and we're making a few substitutions. And I know Allie is going to love this, oh, as is so Orly and Ray, because, well, they're already oh eating. Oh <laughs> <laughs> Did I drop the gun? Here we go. It's so worth it. Oh, my God. And I know the two of you sort of really came up with this together because you didn't just want to bring that regular old sweet potato casserole no, to your family. No, families. we wanted to do a spin on it, like Cassandra said, and we do that with other dishes as well. We, it's just not, you know, we with the cauliflower mash instead of regular mashed potatoes. And this allows you to eat more or possibly <laughs> and not feel guilty about it no and not, you know, doing that comatose state. You know how we get into this comatose <laughs> state after you, you know, after you gorge yourself. So, right. But also a lot more for... people can have it with people with dairy sensitivities, people who don't want to have processed sugars. You know, we have our little guy. We want him to be able to eat whatever is right, at the table as well. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, for us and also maple syrup. We're both Montrealers. Yeah. It's something <laughs> that we just thought we it, have to have maple syrup. It's a nod to your people. It yeah. is. <laughs> okay, so let's get started. It starts with sweet potatoes that you have cubed and did you bake them or did you boil them. So I cube them. Okay. Boil um, them for 15 minutes and then strain them and then we put them in the mixer. Yep. Okay. And then we add to this yes, we do. sweet potatoes that we're mashing so we up. So add the maple syrup. Nice. Star of the show. Star of oh, the that's show. That's good. And uh, coconut milk instead of oh. cream. Instead of cream. That's great. And one thing also, we left the skin on the sweet potato because it's extra fiber and potassium. So people don't really like know it. that, but you right. can sneak it in there. It's true. It makes it yeah. even that much oh, that's healthier. So smart. You don't notice it at all. I mean, I exactly. love the skin of a sweet potato, so yeah. I wouldn't mind. But for kids, like kids oh. are always like, the skin, don't get yeah. 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 It's like, sneak it in. Yeah. She does this with pesto as well. She makes kale pesto Ooh. for our son instead of the, um, oh. the basil. regular basil. That's another episode. Yeah, yeah. another episode. Oh, yeah. <laughs> well, don't give away all uh, my secrets. <laughs> <laughs> Vanilla. Vanilla. And you can also come back and make your wonderful juices from your juice company. Oh, yes, Ooh. definitely. I have to tell you, I love every single juice. I'm Thank not just you. saying that because oh, you're my friend. Thank you. No, I really do. So what was that? Right, this was uh, and salt. Okay, and that's it. So that that's that it. We're done. It. That's, it. that's it. It's that easy. That is so easy. Then we take this out of here. You put it in your casserole dish that I've noticed you've sprayed. It is. So yes. some cooking yeah. spray in here. And one thing to note is if you want to make it vegan, you actually don't even need the egg. I just put it in there, but you don't need to put it. Okay. Let me, let me, let me, Thank let me you, do Andrew. This. Little people know that I was a line a line cook at a Mexican restaurant, oh. so I actually. Oh, uh, loves to talk about. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. I know my way around a grill. All right. and, uh, so we're going to make a sweet potato quesadilla next? This we are. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> no, I'm not mad at that. Yeah. Bad, right? Good idea. So after we put this in our baking dish, then you add the crumble, which is equally as healthy. It is. So the crumble is gluten-free. We're actually using coconut flour, almond flour, crushed almonds, um, maple syrup, of course, and coconut oil. And then we're, uh, some crushed almonds, and then we're just going to sprinkle it on That's top. It. That's perfect. Crushed almonds is such a great idea. It is. Yeah. yeah, but I guess you could probably use any other kind. You probably do walnuts or... So oh, the yeah, original can... recipe that I made was with walnuts, but my older sister has a severe walnut allergy. So oh. you could do pecans or walnuts, but we do almonds. And also there's almond ground almonds in it, so it kind of just... Right. Yeah, it's, it's delicious. It's our version. I mean, oh my gosh, it's like you. candy oh, on right. top. It's, it's so kind of like dessert in a way, too, right? Yeah. Yeah. Well, a sweet potato casserole, I feel like, should be. Yeah, right. yeah. It should, exactly. It's so good. Oh so then God. this goes okay. in covered. That's we'll good. put that aluminum foil on for how long? It does. So it goes in covered for 15 minutes, and then you uncover it and bake it for an additional 30 minutes to get it nice and golden brown. Nice and crunchy. Okay, let's oh. pop this in. We'll get it out and we'll serve ourselves since, oh, that's not too bad. Oh boy, well, right. maybe it is a little bad. <laughs> okay, never mind, I have no feeling with it. It was good. It took a minute before it actually registered. So while we serve this up, Andrew, for the three of us, Debbie. 
You know, I always joke with you that you are like the George Clooney of Hallmark Channel <laughs> or the Ryan Gosling or, or even <laughs> Alec Baldwin to Saturday Night Live for that matter because you have been <laughs> in more Hallmark movies, I think, than any other male actor. Do you know how many Hallmark movies you've been in? Well, C Cameron would know because we oh, had that little oh banter before. <laughs> oh my gosh, is it a like competition? 10, 10, 11 it's movies. It's actually 17 to be exact. <laughs> oh my gosh. 17. Because I, 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 owe her I owe her days. <laughs> she's, she's like, cross them off the Okay, so 25 right. days in this month, 25 days in yeah. this month. Yeah, the so last one these are vacation was days for finished Cassandra. shooting end of February of this year, right before we yeah. made this little guy. Right before so this guy. Can we oh. congratulate? Oh my God. Oh my God. Oh my God. Oh my God. Yes. Yes. Congratulations. Thank you. And the reason you would know how many movies is done is because you were at home. You know, oh, keeping yeah. everything together keeping with everything West. Together. together, West, the juice business. Yeah, the, the whole business. thing. Busy. Yes, oh. that's right. Keeping everything West afloat. West is easy compared to the juice business. Yeah. <laughs> sure. Most Wait. of the time. Most, Most of, the time. of the time. Speaking yeah. of little West, we have some super cute photos. I think it's safe to say that his favorite part of the holidays might be playing in the snow. One hundred percent. Oh yeah. Oh, yeah. Anytime oh. there's snow, for sure. Yeah. He's a California guy, but he loves loves the snow. Oh my gosh. Oh, I know. I know. Well, I mean, oh, you guys probably take him back to Canada often. We do. We do. Yeah, we tried uh, see the three times a year. Oh, there. Look at yeah, we try one's to in make Montreal, our, another one's Park City there. We try to make our time back home at oh, least two so, weeks oh so we can really gosh. enjoy the, the Christmas holidays How old is with he? our family. He'll be, he's actually he's four, four today. today. It's oh, his oh, birthday today. Oh, yeah. Yeah. oh my gosh, there's so many oh. celebrations. We have a baby on the last is four. It's all very exciting. And yeah. speaking of those, those 18 movies that you have done for Hallmark, <laughs> yes. four of them have been Christmas movies. They have. Yes, uh, I did A Dream of Christmas. Yes. Dashing Through the Snow. Which just aired last weekend, we which saw. Which just aired. And uh, A Bride for Christmas, which was my first Hallmark movie. Oh, that's um, where it all began. Somehow they wanted to hire me again. And, and uh, <laughs> I worked with Ariel Kebbel on that, and it was actually a really fun experience. And Gary Yates, who I've worked with five times oh. now, he's, he was the director. Wow. Um, but we, you know, great experience, and Gary puts together a really great Christmas movie too. So, right. And you have um, one coming up. As a matter of fact, it just wrapped February twenty seventh. February twenty seventh. I was home at four twelve in the evening. Yeah, <laughs> on my flight back from uh, Vancouver. What's um, the latest one? Uh, well, we don't know the name because the it could switches possibly switches around a bit. Yeah. Uh, but it's with Jody Sweeten, and she plays an owner of a candy cane factory, and I I represent the uh, the investment group. Um, it's kind of going under, and I come in and do my spin on things, and it's met with uh, some resistance, and, um, and does you know what happens. Someone falls in love, guys. <laughs> 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 Spoiler alert. Thank you. Somebody's going to fall in love. It's going to be the curmudgeon man who, who doesn't want it to go through, and then the local girl the is local gonna... girl pulls through. And guess what? Well, we all get a happy ending. That's yeah. right. Well, we well, all eat sweet potato cans. Exactly. Cheers, cheers, everybody. Cheers. So good to see you. Thank thanks you for, for having me. Thank you for having me. Thanks for coming. It's so me. yummy. If you guys want to get the full recipe, make sure to go to HallmarkChannel.com, and be sure to watch Andrew in A Dream of Christmas this Saturday, July 20th, right here on Hallmark Channel. We'll all be watching.